Like, I'm the kind of guy that keeps saying shit like, suck my dick this, suck my dick that, kill yourself, shut up, grotesque cocksucker, um, your mother's, that's why your girlfriend's with me instead, your mother's a hoe and shit like that, but I gotta give thanks to my friends because this has been the best birthday I've ever had. I mean, my birthday parties usually suck. And this, I never had a party today. Tonight I might. Considering where I'm from, it's a crazy place. And everyone from my neighborhood likes to celebrate by destroying their own neighborhood. So, that's a guarantee. That's how we celebrate. We get drunk and destroy our own neighborhoods. And... I never had any gifts. I've uh, had a lot of, you know, stuff like cakes being made for me, but a gift, gift wrapped, no. But I got something a lot better. I got, I got the feeling that my real friends out there, man, they were stepping up today, man. Felt good, man. Everyone was like. Making it, taking it to the next step to make me feel like I'm part of them and that they trust me, I trust them, that we're all in this together. And, you know, corny gay shit like that, but I appreciate that. So, I gotta give my props, guys. Because this really has been my best birthday party. I got a MacBook last time I had my birthday, and it's the one I'm using now, but... That birthday sucked compared to this one. It truly did. <sighs> and another stuff, um, another news. Um, cause I'm 17 now, and my YouTube says that I'm 18 now. That means I can watch age restricted videos. So that's great, in its own sense. Some more shit to take into account. Now, I was looking at Ryan Falk's video on how the Mises Institute doesn't create the best arguments for a stateless society, and they can oftentimes be up their own ass, but in the comment it says that libertarianism needs to guarantee certain things, and Arini has said this, um, in his own way, because with maximum economic efficiency, you're not always guaranteed anything past the minimum stability in the sense that a government will provide something for you. I mean, yeah, there's going to be probably a, something like a welfare system, but other than that, I can't really think of anything else. <sighs> Some more things to think about. I mean, there's... I keep saying stuff like polycentric law this, polycentric law that. But when you think about it, libertarianism needs a better ethics system. And what I mean by an ethical system, I'm meaning things like Bushido, chivalry, and things of that nature. When there's a decentralized government, people have to treat each other a certain way. And what I mean is that it's a wealth, um, you know, wealth transfer isn't going to be enough. If you have, if you're living on your own, and you're basically someone who's really old and you know can't think for himself and stuff like that. Libertarian realist goes in on guys like the AARP and conservatives that talk about how fiscal spending is crazy but then whine about Medicare. And you know what? A wealth transfer isn't enough. In fact, in many ways, a new ethical system will probably be even better. I know Rothbard talks about having a central ethical system and shit like that or something of that nature back in the 80s and Molyneux trying to do something like that 
But what I'm talking about is when there's a decentralized government and no state, no state at all, how are we going to manage things in an economic uh, sector? Especially since religion's going to basically go down the back burner and the university zeitgeist and things of that nature aren't going to replace it. Nothing's going to fill in these voids because these are huge voids in human psychology and I think that in the fall of state and fall of religion all these big archons people are going to go and look back at that and think remember back when these things used to be so huge and menacing and those times suck but I miss those we definitely need a more uniform ethical system. Nothing like a metric unit like Arini said with the memes with jeans video. But something like chivalry or Bushido or Confucian ethics. And where I think it's going to come from is it's going to come from game theory. Because pickup artists have basically found human nature down to the metric unit. And understanding that will make for the best ethical system. And we need a new ethical system. Why? Because if you're an old guy who's disabled and his field is obsolete. Yeah, the wolf transfer is going to help you keep your property. But it's something that will help you 100 times fold. Guaranteed. Be knowing how to build those relations on your own. No matter if you're using beta reassurance game or alpha aloof game. Or basically, you're straight up Omega and you're only getting you know decent women because you have some power to you. Um, there's one thing that's a guarantee that you need. You need to basically not only know how to be someone who doesn't give a needy aura and that people will like to associate so that, yeah, they'll help him out if he can't help himself out, but they don't feel like he's a leech sucking up their lives and their life work. And furthermore, when you have gain, I mean, I picked up game thanks to Rini, like, how long ago? Four months ago? Game doesn't just teach you how to get girls or, well, you can use it on family and stuff like that to basically improve those relations and friends. Game theory creates this thing where you can basically have real control over who you associate with like if someone doesn't want to spend time with you that's okay but you can basically say that if you don't want to go out with this girl you don't have to there's always going to be someone better um if you don't want to spend time with uh this friend because he's a dick have friends of your own you don't like this family member, you can have your own family. Game theory makes it so that you can build relationships in general. And that's something that we need to learn nowadays. Because nowadays, your family probably going to be the one you're born with. And if that one sucks too bad, and any new members are just going to be not really a family of their own, but an additive that's undesirable. Your girlfriend's probably going to be the person that you didn't really want, but they want you, and now you're down in the dumps, and that's something I've dealt with a few times. Um, not anymore, though. And basically, your friends are assholes who talk shit behind your back, and you don't like that, so... With a new game version of an ethical system, 
that'll be set the metric unit because if you're living on your own and you really need help you don't you're no longer a needy guy you're no longer a needy guy because there's gonna be people that want to help you that it makes them feel good to help you because you're not a leech to them you're a likable person and basically you're so much better than you're so much better than just being out there on your own and that's going to be something that essentially has a stable society when all these pillars are broken these will be the new pillars ones based upon relationships that actually make sense and that's great so hope you guys enjoy this video